What's up guys and welcome to episode 2 of Project Stampede where I completely rebuild my Traxxas Stampede 4x4. Let's get into it. By the way, before we begin, this episode will make a lot more sense if you've watched the previous episode, so I suggest that you go watch that one, but you don't have to, so yeah. Alright guys, so in this episode, we're going to be tuning this car to be the perfect stunt car. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so what we're going to want to do first is replace the gearing here, because currently it has a pretty high gear ratio, and we want that to be lower so that it goes slower, but has faster acceleration, because when we're doing stunts, we need acceleration. We don't really need that much speed. So I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna be making the pinion gear slightly smaller, and since I don't have a bigger spur gear, we're just gonna leave that the same. So let's do it. All right, guys. So what we're gonna want to do first is take off this gear cover. We're gonna use this wrench to do it. All right, so my favorite part is doing this. Pops right off. All right, guys, so as you can see, here's the pinion gear. This is just a little bit too big for, for what we wanna do. So we're gonna try to make this a bit smaller and make it fit here at the same time. All right, guys, so I found this pinion gear, which is a little bit smaller than this one, so this is gonna make it go a little bit slower, but it's gonna be a lot more powerful on jumps and stuff like that. Let's unscrew it. When I last did this, I spent like 10 whole minutes trying to figure out what setting to put this at, like how high and how low, to get this to align with the spur gear and not make really weird sounds. So hopefully this thing gear will be easier. And also I'm gonna put on some lubricant, uh, what's it called? Lubricant? I blank right there. All right, so, here, we're gonna, I unscrewed this bolt here. Now we're gonna take out the motor. Just look at that, really easy. And this is the Spectrum Firma motor. Okay, so now that we have the motor out, I'm gonna unscrew this pinion gear because this is what we wanna take off. There we go, it's unscrewed. Ah, it's kinda greasy, got my finger dirty. So I'm gonna take out this, um, it's like small screw. If I can't, I, I guess I can't. All right, I'm gonna have to get another one. All right guys, so we have one problem. This pinion gear's bore is bigger than this motor's shaft. So see, they don't align perfectly. Like, it kind of slides around in there. That's why we need one of these adapters. This is gonna slide into the pinion gear and allow the motor shaft to fit into this pinion gear bore. That sounds like it fits pretty well. All right, it's not making the ideal sound that we want when it moves, so I'm, I think I'm gonna loosen it a little bit. Alright guys, so the sound that you're looking for is the quietest sound possible. You want it to be like as quiet as possible because that tells you the gears are perfectly aligned. If they're not perfectly aligned, they're gonna be like, it's they're if they're too tight or too loose, your gears are gonna wear uh, wear down pretty quickly. There's my wrench. Oh, here's my wrench. All right, that sounds pretty good. Let's give it a test run. So currently, the gears are running about as smooth as sandpaper, but luckily I have the perfect thing to fix that, grease. We just have to apply a little bit of grease onto the gear, and then turn it around a couple times. See how much better that sounds? Yeah, that's, that's gonna run smooth. All 
All right, guys, so now, now let's just pop this cap back on, and then we can get on to the next thing. There we go. All right, so one problem I've noticed with this is there's just that tiny bit of input lag. So to combat that and to be able to do finer tuning, I'm gonna upgrade this receiver. So with the new receiver and this chip in the controller, we theoretically should be able to tune it from the Traxxas app directly because this chip connects to your phone and like when you change a parameter on your phone, it like transmits back to this chip. There's a lot of other stuff I can do with this, but I think I'll just use this for speed settings and maybe turn settings. All right guys, so while I was searching for receivers, I couldn't find any receivers, but I found something much cooler. Check out this motor. This is significantly heavier than that motor, but I think this could actually fit in that car. So should I do this in a future video? Put this motor in that car? Comment below. I probably will anyway, lol. <laughs> Guys, so unfortunately I could not find any receivers. So yeah, that's unfortunate. So that's just gonna be all for this video. Thanks for watching, see ya.